Fall is considered the season of change. And one of the biggest changes, aside, of course, from the weather, is the trends that are going on and the products that people are looking to purchase. Pretty much everything during fall is changing because it's so different than summer. That's why today's video, it's going to be focusing on the top 10 products for you to dropship in the fall. Also, for those of you that don't know, fall, it's also considered autumn. It's the same thing. I'm fall. I'm autumn. I'm the best season of the year. I'm the best season of the year. So aside from that to go along with this video, as always, we're going to have an easy to reference cheat sheet with all of the different products, the product links, the seller links, and the TikTok or Facebook ads all conveniently located for you in an easy to read and easy to reference cheat sheet. To get access to that, just go ahead and drop a comment down below with the hashtag fall dropshipping. And let me know which one of these products is your favorite. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. All right, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So kicking things off at number one, we have probably the most popular product period during the fall. This is one of those products that sells over and over and over. And on top of that, people don't just buy one, they purchase multiples most of the time. The reason for this is because there's so many different scents. And for those of you that already guessed it, I'm talking about candles. So fall scented candles are a huge hit. Now, before we continue any further with the candles, let's go ahead and figure out one thing. What exactly is fall scented? Well, there's quite a few different ones. So there's gonna be a few really popular ones, specifically some like pumpkin spice, anything that's spicy or anything that has a spice smell to it, any scents that are a bit woodsy. But to get more specific answers, let's go ahead and use Google Gemini. I know we can use ChatGPT, but lately I've been using Google Gemini, which the link to this will be in the cheat sheet. But Google Gemini lately has just been absolutely amazing. I've been loving it. Now let's go ahead and ask it. So what are some popular fall scented candles? Now how about just fall scents for candles? Let's go ahead and specify this actually fall slash autumn. All right, let's see what it tells us. Anything that you ever need help on, you can use AI for. If you have any questions to figure out what kind of variations would be good for, let's say a particular season, use AI, use ChatGPT, use Google Gemini. They are extremely helpful resources that will literally give you answers like that. So spicy, you see? Pumpkin spice, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and ginger. Perfect, right here you have all of the different spicy scents. Spicy scents, that sounds so strange. Warm and cozy, definitely, because fall, people like to stay inside sometimes. That's when the chills kind of start to come in and people just like to cuddle up and relax in their house. So warm and cozy, vanilla, caramel, and maple syrup. That's pretty, that's an interesting one. Fruity, apple, pear, and cranberry. If you've noticed, all of these different scents are very relevant to the fall and autumn season, especially pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, it's fall. Everyone loves pumpkin spice pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin spice scented candles, pumpkin spice bread, pumpkin spice candy. Fall is pumpkin spice season pretty much. But besides that, we also have woodsy with the cedar wood, sandalwood and pine, gourmand, I've never heard of that. Baked goods like pumpkin pie, cookies and bread. Oh, interesting, okay. I would have probably thought that might have said gourmet. Other, campfire, spiced rum and old books. Old books is an interesting one. But yeah, these are just a few different ideas to help get you started, which is literally what it says right here. There's a lot more, but these are going to be the most popular ones. These are going to be the ones that are going to be the best sellers, and these can really just help you get started. So checking out our first product, we have this one over here, which is Santal, I believe it's pronounced. And what that is, it's, it's pretty much a woody and leathery fragrance. So it is something that matches the scent profile for something like fall or autumn. Now on AliExpress, we could find this particular one for simply $7.12 with free shipping. Now, as far as candles, there's tons upon tons of different places where you can purchase them. If you want a list of some of the best supplies for candles, you can check out this video right here. In it, we cover everything that you need to know about dropshipping candles, suppliers, and which ones are the best ones. Now, besides that, checking over on Etsy, we can find an eight ounce candle, which is, it's a similar scent in terms of the seasonal scents, but it is a completely different scent. Like this one is toasted honey vanilla, while the other one was a more woody one. But at the end of the day, they're both still false scents, and that's what we're looking for. Now, this one in particular, toasted honey vanilla, is running for $38. Are they charging for shipping? Ooh. $5.32 for shipping. Let's just go ahead and change that really fast. All right, now taking all of that into consideration, we can see that again, $43 sold. Sourcing price is about $10.95. And that gives us a profit potential of about $32.05 for one candle. That's not bad. And remember, like I said, candles, a lot of the times they're purchased in sets. People like to purchase multiple of these. So try to offer as many different scents that you can in the range of the ones that I had mentioned earlier and make sure to bundle them together. Buy one for $30, buy two for 
I don't know, 25 each. Things like that. Give a nice little discount whenever somebody purchases multiples. All right, next up we have fall wreaths. Now wreaths are one of those products that are popular during each season. Well, not really each season because I don't think I've seen too many for spring, but I'm sure there are. But either way, wreaths are super popular, especially for people that have their own places, people that have their own apartments, their own homes. They love to decorate them with wreaths. Now, when it comes to wreaths, they are a lot of different styles, but in general, you can expect to find them for about $29.99 to source them from your supplier. Right now we're using AliExpress, but you can find them anywhere else, like let's say Walmart, Amazon, the AutoDS Marketplace and Handpicks product section. But right now we're just showing this one as more or less of an overview or an average, because again, it's gonna be kind of hard to compare single ones, especially since they're varying in prices and styles and all that stuff. So on average, you can expect anywhere between, I would say $15 to about $30 to source. And then when you're selling it, you can see that they're averaging right around $80 throughout Etsy. So here we can see this one's at 130, 195, 145. This one's at 71, 49, 80, even though this one isn't a full wreath, but still $80 here. So the low end seems to be about 80, which in my opinion would be about the sweet spot. Now, taking that into consideration, taking the averages into consideration, $80 average selling price, about $30 average sourcing price, giving us a profit potential of about $50 each wreath. That is not bad at all. And think about it this way. You can also bundle these for let's say the upcoming season. So if you start looking for a few spring related wreaths, then you can go ahead and sell this one and then tell them, look, if you want, we can include the spring wreath so that way you don't have to go out and purchase another one at a discounted price. So like I said at the beginning of the video, fall is the season for change. And one of the biggest changes is the weather. Now the fall is gonna be when all of the coldness or the coolness at least starts to creep in. It's not as hot, things start to get nicer when you go outside, and at night, it could potentially get a little bit cold. Of course, this really depends on where you live, but on average. So because of that, one of the most popular apparel products is gonna be hoodies and sweatshirts, and also long sleeve shirts. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this hoodie over on Etsy, and this is actually a pretty interesting fall theme. So they have a tree, and then behind it, they simply just have an autumn leaf. It's simple, it's running for $44.49, and it has a few good reviews. So how do you come up with a design like this? Well, before I show you the supplier, I'm gonna show you quickly how you can come up with a design like this. Simply because for this, we are gonna be using print on demand. Now, I like to use Kittle. Now, if you've seen any of our previous prints on demand videos, I always recommend Kittle. Kittle has an awesome AI system that can create pretty much any image that you need it to. So here, we're just gonna go ahead and tell it to do something similar to the last one. A tree without leaves, but instead use a giant autumn leaf on top. Have leaves falling also. Let's just see what it comes up with. Now, let's quickly choose an image style though. So I don't want this, I want clip art styles. So let's go with, let's go with a detail drawing. Let's see what that comes up with. Now, while that's generating, let's actually run back over and let's check out the hoodie that we're gonna be using for this or that you can use for this. So over at autodscom by the way, if you don't have an account with us just yet, you can go ahead and take advantage right now of the free trial for just $1 for the next two weeks. Not free trial, but for the dollar trial, sorry. And with that, you're gonna get access to print on demand where you can go ahead and customize pretty much any garment or any other product that you'd like. So there's tons of different products that you can choose from for print on demand, where you can simply upload whatever design it is that you want. You can start your own brand with this. You can start your own line of clothing, your own line of products. So if you haven't been using print on demand, then I highly suggest you check it out. But this is pretty much how it works. So here, let's go ahead and choose our size. This is the hoodie we're gonna be using. We're gonna go ahead and click on edit product. Let's run back over to Kittle really fast and check it out. Let's see what it came up with. And this is actually really, really cool. This is very similar to the one that we just saw. And oh, I mean, it came out really good actually. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and download it. I'm gonna remove the background. Hopefully that works. Now let's jump back over here, click on add image. Okay, so it didn't remove the background, unfortunately. So what we would have to do is, if this ever happens to you, this is a common occurrence, just go to a background remover. So just something like, so just Google background remover and you can go ahead and choose any one of these. Look at that, free background remover from Adobe. If you want, I'll go ahead and include this also in the cheat sheet. So running back over to AutoDS, we can see it's super simple to get started putting your designs on pretty much any piece of clothing or any other product that we offer through the print on demand section. After this, all you have to do is click on save. After, of course, you optimize your image, you just go ahead and click on save and it'll be uploaded to your draft section where you can go ahead and make any necessary edits before it goes live on your store. Now let's talk about pricing. So the selling price is about $44.49. It did have free shipping and our sourcing price was $24. That also does include shipping. 
Now, hoodies can range. Sometimes they do sell for about $59.99, but it, you would have to be selling them during the season. That's when the prices actually start to go up. But overall, with the current pricing, we can expect a profit of about $20.49. It's not that bad. All right, next up, we have a Halloween mask. Now, I know this just looks like your average, basic Halloween skull mask, but check this out. So it actually opens. So when you talk, the skull itself also opens. So you can put on something like, like what this guy is wearing, one of those, like a hoodie or something like that, and it'll look absolutely amazing. Something like this is awesome. This is a great product for Halloween, which of course is in the fall. Now we can see that it has 238 likes and loves and a few comments, 19 comments. Everything's really positive when it comes to this mask. And again, overall, it's a pretty cool mask. I haven't seen too many masks that actually move with you. So we can see that on Fabehi, I guess you could pronounce that name. That's a horrible name, I'm sorry. That is not a good name to promote this type of product on. It's running for $29.99. Now, does that have free shipping? No, so you do have to pay shipping for this. Now, through AutoDS and the handpicked product section, we can go ahead and find this same mask running for just about five or six dollars. Now, here we also have the saturation score and the engagement score. So right now, the engagement is mild. It's a bit mid. There's not too much engagement on it, but the saturation score, that's at busy. So there are a lot of people selling it, but there's not too many people advertising it on social media, or at least there's not too many people engaging with the advertisements. So what that means is that the creatives might not be that good. So in this case, what you need to do is you need to tackle the marketing from a few different unique angles. So try making a few videos that are funny. Try making a few videos that show off the mask. Try making a few videos that are maybe a bit more fun, a bit lighthearted, and some that are a bit darker, some that are more Halloween themed. See what works and then just continue from there. Now, as far as a profit, considering that it's selling for about $30 and the sourcing price is just under $7, actually, we can expect a profit of about $23.52. All right, next up, we have a ghost bag. Now, that's actually pretty interesting because this is a crossover body bag that has a pretty cool look to it. It's a simple bag with two dots on it that really just make it look like a cute little ghost. So here over at Kawaii's, we can see that it's running for $40. Now there's two different variations. There's a black and a white one. And as you can see, it just looks like a little ghost. It's pretty cool. Let's check out a TikTok video really fast. This spooky season, I'm surprising my boyfriend with matching ghost bags. So they're both having the matching ghost bags. You can see that they're gonna have one white and one black one. And what they're really doing is in unboxing. An unboxing, talking about how cute it is. And what else? That's pretty much it. So that and that they're gonna be matching. This video itself has 568 likes, six comments, and 32 saves. Let's see what a few people are saying. Well, actually, the comments are pretty good. There's not a lot because this video didn't do super, super well, but the comments are all pretty positive, even though there's only six of them. And as far as likes, it has 568, which again, isn't bad. Now let's check out really fast over at AutoDS. We can find this same one running for 99 cents and $2 shipping. That is already telling me that you're gonna get a pretty good profit from this. So let's check out our profits, shall we? $40 to sell, $3 to source, $37 potential profit. Not bad for a simple crossbody bag. All right, next up we have a baby pillow. Now, why baby pillow? Well, simply because during the fall, a lot of people are gonna start going out and they're gonna be having picnics. Now, when you have a picnic, a lot of the times people take their kids, people take their babies, and babies like to sleep a lot. So this actually makes it a lot more comfortable for new parents to just go out, enjoy the fall season, when there's not too much heat, especially for the baby, and just to have a good, nice little time outside or at the park with a picnic. Now, over at One Love Baby, we can see that it's running for $38.95. Now, in this case, we can find the same product over at AutoDS for $13.23 with $2 shipping. The engagement score for this one is showing us moderate, so there is some buzz around it on social media, and the saturation is busy, so there are people selling it, but it's not oversaturated just yet. Now, let's take a look at some profits. It's selling for about $44.94. The sourcing price is $15.22, giving us a potential profit of $29.72. All right, this next one is a really cool one that when I saw it, I thought I need to add this one to my store because this is gonna be extremely popular for the fall. Now, this is a basketball bag. So this bag, it's this right here. So this is pretty much just like a little purse in the shape of a basketball. Now, over at Essence Buy, we can see that it's running for $28.99. And over at AutoDS, we can find the same bag for $2 shipping with only $1.38 to source. Now, why basketball? Well, simply because, for one, basketball is one of the biggest sports 
probably in the entire world. I know for sure in the United States, it's a huge sport. People go absolutely crazy for it, even though I'm not too into sports. But on top of that, basketball season actually starts about maybe two weeks before the fall season. So this is the perfect time to offer this. The fall season is essentially basketball season. Now let's check out how it's being advertised on TikTok. So what she's doing is she's just walking to the camera, touching the bag and showing the different variations. Very simple, straight to the point, and it has some good interactions. 4,000 likes, 79 comments, and over 300 saves. Now, taking a look at some of the different comments, we can see that everything is pretty positive. A lot of people actually already have these. I got the pink and brown ones. I got the brown one. How much are those? They're so cute. Now, people are asking to do a video of the inside of the purse, which would be another opportunity to come up with more content to market the product. So in terms of profit, we can see that it's being sold for about $26.99. Our sourcing price, like we said, is super cheap, $3.37, including shipping, giving us a potential profit of $23.62 for this one little basketball bag. Not bad. All right, next up we have cat and dog socks, but not necessarily for cats or dogs. Check this out. So this is a kawaii cat sock or a kawaii dog sock. And look how many interactions such a simple video has. They probably took no more than 10 seconds to make this video and it has over 4,000 likes. Now let's press play. It's just somebody that put on the socks. They're showing their feet with it. It's even sped up and they're doing the same thing over and over. 4,000 likes for that. And the comments overall were pretty positive. Now let's check out the seller's website first. In this case, we can find the six piece running for $13.80. That does not include shipping though. Shipping they charge quite a bit. Check this out. So we can see that shipping here is actually $19.44. So in total, it's $33.24. And over at AutoDS, we can source it for $9.02 with $2 shipping. Now, taking a look over at our cheat sheet, we can see that given those numbers, we can expect a profit of about $22.23. Now, my suggestion to you, don't charge $20 for shipping. Instead, maybe charge them $10 or $5 and add the extra expense to the actual selling price. Or just sell it for, I don't know, $30 flat with free shipping and just make it easier for your customer. Because honestly, I don't know about you, but when I see $20 shipping, I'm not, I'm not going to make that purchase. All right, up next on number nine, another cozy item to wear during the fall, and that is thigh-high fuzzy socks. These are a huge hit, and last year they went absolutely crazy. Now, these over at AutoDS, you can source them for $8.80 and $2 shipping, so just about $10.00. And check these out. These are literally just socks that you can put on that go up to your thigh. Really what they're meant to do is just keep everybody's feet and legs warm. Now the engagement score is pretty active. So there's a lot of buzz on this on social media. As far as the saturation score, it's just under full saturation. So it's pretty busy. But again, like I always say, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't go ahead and try to sell it because there's always a huge possibility that if you have your marketing right, you can go ahead and continue selling a lot of these. So over at my snugs, we can see this is a very nice website. Yeah, this is a very nice website. This is made very well. Now over at my snugs, we can see that one pair is running for $29.95 and then you can bundle it. So you get two pairs for $54. Now running over to the TikTok ad, we can see attention, please check out these snug, snuggy, cozy socks. My reading is not on point today. Most comfortable socks ever. Say goodbye to cold feet. That's it. Pretty simple, straight to the point. Again, this video did not take more than 10 minutes to make. And it has 1,564 likes, 21 comments. People are saying, I want a pair so bad. Where is the black? So perfect time to reply back and link them to it. Reposting for a reminder. That's great. Not a want, a need. So the comments for these are very, very positive. So let's run back over to the cheat sheet and we can see that it's running again for $29.95. That does include the shipping, $10.79 to source, giving us a potential profit of $19.16 for a pair of socks. Now, last but not least, we have a product that I'm sure you've seen on TikTok before, but the reason that it's on this list is simply because during the fall, that's, that's pollen season. Although pollen season does start the season prior to that, it can go up until October. So a lot of people are still going to be sneezing their lives away. Now, because of that, a wireless vacuum is the perfect solution. You can use a vacuum to pretty much start vacuuming up anything around your area, anything around your car, maybe that could potentially collect pollen. This is really going to depend on where you live. Some places get full of pollen, while others don't really get too much. It's just in the air. So for those places where it does concentrate and it's just flying everywhere, something like this would really be helpful, especially for people with allergies. Take that from personal experience. 
So on AutoDS, we can see that this vacuum is, is running for only $7.75 with $2 shipping. Let's check out any one of these videos really fast. So let's go with this one. All right, 2,300 likes. This is a car vacuum blower or cleaner. I didn't read that last part. You can see that they're using it to pretty much, oh, it does both. So it is a vacuum cleaner and it's also an air blower. That's not that bad. That's pretty interesting. I wasn't aware of that second part though. Now over at Trend Cycle Shop, we can see that it's running for $23.68. Not that bad. And it does have free shipping. So that's included. Now taking that into consideration, we can go ahead and safely assume that we can earn about $18.84 for our profit. So what did you think of today's list? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, all you have to do is comment the hashtag fall drop shipping and let me know which one of these products was your favorite. Are you selling any of these? Are you going to sell any of these? What are your thoughts on the list? Also, what are your thoughts on seasonal drop shipping, changing your products based on the season? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. With that, huge thank you to everyone for watching. As always, if you made it this far, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you to everyone for watching. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS and Catch you all next time.